all fam. Welcome back to the TV News 24H channel. We always update the latest, fastest news about your favorite royal characters. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announcing they will have a second baby in January, by have currently been slashed by bookies. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are parents to one-year-old son Archie, but have said they are keen to have more children. Bookmaker Coral currently have odds on, at 4-5, that Harry and Meghan will tell fans they are expecting a second child by the end of 2020. It seems certain that, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will add to their family, and we make it odds on they are announced before the end of the year that they are expecting, a source revealed. Prince Harry and Meghan Mark surprised many earlier this year by stepping back from their duties as senior members of the royal family, and after leaving the royal family life, they strengthened their relationship, a warm and happy family in Santa Barbara. Harry and Meghan are besotted and very sweet with each other, and are also enjoying undivided time with their 18-month-old son Archie and new home in California. According to a source, Meghan is reportedly pushing Prince Harry to drop a few pounds and get in shape so that they can be ready for Hollywood. The couple is reportedly planning on spending some time in Los Angeles this year. Meghan Mark gave up her acting career and celebrity life shortly, before officially joining the royal family as the Duchess of Sussex in May 2018. Today, a former co-star of Meg said, Meghan Mark always destined for royalty, I'd bow to her on set. Duchess Meghan inspired people to bow to her long, before she officially became a member of the royal family, deal or no deal host Howie Mandel claimed. Meghan hit the ground running attending royal engagements from the early days of her marriage to Prince Harry and taking on several patronages passed on directly from the Queen. Despite the Duchess having now given up her royal life for a more private existence with her husband and son Archie, Deal or No Deal host Howie Mandel suggested Meghan was always destined to be royalty. Mr. Mandel jokingly responded, I did, I saw her as royalty. Really? During the commercials, I would bow down to her. And she would ask, why are you doing that, why are you doing that? And I said, you'll see, you'll see. And then she got a role in Suits and she said, is it because of the show and I went, no, you'll see. Meghan Markle quit Deal or No Deal in 2011, after she was cast as paralegal Rachel Zane in the US legal drama show Suits. She remained a series regular in the first seven series of the program and was written out after her engagement to Prince Harry was announced in the autumn of 2017. Upon her marriage, the Duchess of Sussex became the Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust and a patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. Meghan and Harry manifested their close connection to the Commonwealth when they picked Canada as the destination for their six-week family holiday last year and later as their new temporary home after announcing they will step away from their royal roles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex confirmed in January they had decided to reduce the amount of engagements they carry out on behalf of the Queen to establish a new progressive role for themselves while splitting their year between the UK and North America. Following crisis talks with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William, Buckingham Palace announced the royal couple will no longer be part of the team of working royals. The new system devised to meet Meghan and Harry's desires is to come into effect in April, and the pair is believed to be planning one last visit to the UK in their royal capacities to mark Commonwealth Day in March. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stayed relatively quiet as they settled into their new life in California in the spring, but they've become far more vocal in their political activism over the past few months. Meghan Markle has been praised for being the first modern royal to vote in an election. Royal commentators Roberto Fiorito and Rachel Bowie admitted to being delighted that Meghan Markle has cast her vote in the US election. The pair also discussed the laws surrounding monarchs being allowed to vote in elections. Thank you for watching our video. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. And don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.